here and today I'm trying an experiment. I'm going to try to replicate a dish that we who come from New England can't find anymore in the stores and that is Grandma Brown's baked beans. Now if you're outside New England you may never have heard of Grandma Brown baked beans but we love them and in the can they're very simple they're um, not overly processed or flavored with lots of brown sugar and, and tons of bacon and other flavors so you don't even taste the beans. They're mildly flavored. But what we do is we open the cans of Grandma Brown's, we put them in the casserole dishes, and we doctor them up with the taste that we want to enhance them with. But they're good just out of the can too. So we miss them and I'm gonna try and duplicate the Grandma Brown's baked bean recipe from scratch. Grandma Browns, we miss you.
Well, here we go with the test. Okay. They look like Grandma Brown baked beans. They're light in color like that. Texture is very similar. Of course, you can make them a little looser if you just hook them up a little less or something. Okay. They smell like Grandma Browns. They really do. Okay. Here we go with the taste test. They taste like Grandma Browns. They taste like Grandma Browns. Okay, New Englanders. You don't have to miss your favorite beans anymore. They're not that hard to make and they only have a few ingredients and they come out really yummy. And you can go ahead and doctor them up with more bacon or whatever else you like to put in your Grandma Browns and continue enjoying them on your summer picnics or weekend dinners whenever you like to serve Grandma Browns baked beans. I'd say this is a success.